list of schools impacted, you're a click away. Head to WJCL.com. Those temperatures will be dropping until the 20s, and we have everything you need to know. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Jennifer Andrews. Let's start with how cold it's going to get overnight by checking in with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Kirk, who is over here in the tracking center with his eye on this very frigid forecast. Now, temperatures are falling fast out there as the wind has been picking up this evening as a cold blast of air arrives, and the wind making it feel even colder than the temperature. Oh, wow. Brutal. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. We are just now down to 39 degrees at the Savannah Airport. Parts of our area are down to freezing or below. Vidalia is 31, down to 26 in Macon. And look at North Georgia. We've got 19 in Athens and 18 in Atlanta. Now take the same temperatures and factor in the wind. At the moment, it feels like it's 10 degrees colder in Savannah, feeling like 28. Feels like 22 in Vidalia. Look at Atlanta, it feels like four up there with the wind factored in with the temperatures. Cold air sliding rapidly off to the southeast. And here's what we can expect as we head through the rest of the night. Temperatures ending up in the low to mid 20s by 7 a.m. Winds gusting over 20 miles per hour. Well, that's going to cause our wind chill to be around 10 at daybreak. Maybe even some upper single digits like nine in Savannah and nine in Glenville and eight in Statesboro. Again, that's how it feels when you can buy the temperature and some wind. So a very cold start coming up for your Thursday. Now we'll detail how long this cold weather will stick around coming up in just a bit. All right, thanks, Chef. Well, when the cold weather hits, emergency leaders want you to be smart. Now, when the weather dipped in January of last year, sprinklers caused issues and water froze on the road. 